Della, you can kick it off. and uh, meet myself at the same time. Um, how do you sort of balance in terms of talking to your team, the mentality of obviously the result isn't good enough, but also at the end of the day, it's just a game. Like what sort of approach in terms of dealing with these kinds of losses do you think has been most effective or do you think you haven't found what works best for this team yet? Um, it's not about my speeches, to be honest. It's about recognizing what things aren't working it's about you know in the first half i didn't think we did a good enough job of recognizing their pressure we kept playing ourselves back into the pressure um rather than dealing with it and skipping it and solving it um but i think in the second half like obviously score lines are score line but i said to the group at half time we have a choice right you either give up or you come out and you show who you are as individuals and who we are as a club and as a team. And I think we did that. Um, you know, someone's gonna have to find me for that penalty because that is a disgraceful, disgraceful decision to flip the penalty off. And it, honestly, I think she should have been sent off. And that, ch that maybe changes the game, right? You get a penalty, she gets sent off, game's completely different. How can you book somebody and not give the penalty? Tell me how that works. But that, sort of that, brings, was, that was our day, sorry. unfortunately. Um, that, that brings me to my second question. Just, you know, we've had a lot, a lot of these kinds of decisions or early goals on mistakes this season. Mm -hmm. How much do you think that has affected the team sort of long term in terms of a build up and struggling to maybe have the right mentality or, or just being beaten down a bit? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. You know, I think goals change games. I believe that and it's so hard to react when not only are the goals things that we should be doing better on, um, but then also when you get like a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of hope, things go against you. Um, and unfortunately, that's been the case too many times this year. Um, and that's not making any excuses, like that's reality goals change games, moments change games, there's just little things and we've either shot ourselves in the foot, which the corner today, that was not good enough. You know, the first goal, nowhere near good enough. Um, the second and third goal, we could have done better, but at that point we're trying to, you know, ride the wave of being down 10 players and I said to the group, we've been here before, we've seen how this can work, we've seen how we can do it well and keep a team at bay and even come out with a result. But once they scored the second goal, it became challenging. And then obviously the third goals, you know, Claudia's going to be devastated with that one, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, but there was thing we could have done prior to that to prevent it. Um, but yeah, when, when things aren't going your way and when um, you're not performing, it's easy to, you know, blame the ref and all that type of stuff, which I'm not doing. I just think the decision was shocking. <laughs> I'm not blaming him for the performance, but football's about momentum. It always has been. So sport. Sport is sport because you can flip things around in with momentum real quick. And I will fight till the day I die that that is a penalty. And the ball would left Emery's foot, so I'm sorry. They don't have the camera views, we do. And again, I don't understand why they don't, because they should. Um, and we can see that it's left their foot when the contact happens, so that's how it rolls. Thank you. Thanks, Bella. Jada, go ahead. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, you, your lineup was a little different, uh, and now with you guys being officially eliminated from the playoffs, where were you entering this game, doing anything, um, you know, trying to get a, you know, different looks or planning for the future, uh, you know, rather than making a, a play, you know, making that kind of push to get to the playoffs with this lineup today, and if not today, then does anything change? going into the Houston game? No, now the today's game was about trying to win. Gia had a knock in training this week, so she couldn't uh, compete in training. She only really did um, a little bit of one training session leading up to the game. Um, I wanted to give Emery a start because I felt she'd good and well coming off the bench. Um, so yeah, I mean, they were the two big changes really, but G's was mainly about the fact that she got a knock this week in training. 
and Z was about just giving Emery a shot because she'd been doing well when she came off the bench. So, no, it, this was about coming and trying to compete and get a result that unfortunately wasn't good enough. And then going into Houston, does anything, or even Orlando, I mean, do you do, you do anything different um, now, now that things are uh, set and you guys won't make the postseason? Well, we lose Haas and we've lost Jalen too for the next game, so we're going to have to change something up a little bit. Uh, we now, I don't think we have one, we have Nikki Stanton is the only six that we will have available for the next game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to mix it up again. Um, but, you know, I've said this a lot. I, you can't come into these games thinking that way in this league. It's too hard. You've got to go into it trying to put the best people out there that you think can win a game. And I don't particularly want to go to the last two games and lose both. So I think I'm going to try and put a team out there that I think can compete and can win. Thanks, Jada. Any other questions on Zoom? Anyone? Okay, thanks, everyone. Thanks, Laura.